Would you believe it? Following his double by-election success yesterday, Sir Keir Starmer has got himself in a bit of hot water, apparently with two positions on whether Israel can cut off water and electricity supplies to Gaza. In the first interview with my old friend Nick Ferrari on LBC, he said yes. And to ITV, he said no. Take a listen. I'm very clear. Israel must have that, does have that right to defend herself. A siege is appropriate? Cutting off power, cutting off water? Well, I think that Israel does have that right. I was saying Israel had the right to self-defence. And when I said that right, it was that right to self-defence. I was not saying that Israel had the right to cut off water, food, fuel or medicines. Watch him wriggling on the line. Yeah, but no, but yeah. He's basically politics' answer to Vicky Pollard. Well, the Guardian columnist Owen Jones is not having any of it going on Twitter to say this is a straightforward lie. Who to believe? U-turns is one thing, but outright dishonesty? Perish the thought. Let's get the views now of former government minister and radio and television broadcaster Edwina Curry. Edwina, great to see you on the programme. Has Sakir got caught with his pants down this time, do you think? Um, actually, n not in the way that Owen Jones uh, is saying, in, in my humble opinion. Uh, I mean, it's not a lie to express yourself not as well as you would like. Every politician at some point in their <laughs> life express themselves less competently than they would like. Actually, Mark, a few presenters do that as well. That doesn't make you a liar. It just makes you occasionally just not quite as competent as you would like to be. Owen Jones, on the other hand, is a joy to all Tories. Owen Jones is an absolute straight up idiot uh, who is a propagandist for a pattern of viewpoints uh, that really most of the electorate don't want. He's been attached to Labour for a long time. The noisier he is, the more people like me like it. Edwina, I'd never cancel you, not on my show, but that's intemperate language, isn't it, idiot? Um, maybe it's a little unkind to other idiots. Um, Owen Jones has actually blocked me on Twitter for a very long time. Um, so did Nadine Doris. I, I, I regard both of those as badges of honour, I have to say. If you were to block me, I would feel myself in deep trouble and I would probably apologise profusely. But actually what Keir Starmer is, is doing is saying uh, quite clearly that Israel has the right to defend itself. Of course it does. And that usually means, by whatever means you've got at your disposal, uh, not least if you're trying not to kill people in large numbers, which the Israelis clearly are not. And the longer that continues, the more I, I'm in favour of that. Um, they also clearly have the ability uh, to reduce the amount of stuff that's going into Gaza. Uh, and that may actually persuade the people in Gaza, whatever label they carry, uh, mm. to let those hostages go uh, that were seized now over a week ago. Wouldn't it be nice if Keir Starmer and Owen Jones agreed on that? And we might actually then get a resolution to the crisis that's been happening there. Which is the priority, absolutely. Look, I don't think Owen Jones is an idiot. I don't often agree with him. But uh, perhaps he should appear on the show with Edwina and they can have a right old ding dong. And it will be easier for Edwina to talk to him on this show because on Twitter she's been blocked. Outrageous. Now, Edwina, no doubt Keir Starmer will brush off this latest drama. Is he going to be Britain's next prime minister? Well, he's facing a much more complex uh, and deep-seated problem, which is Labour at the last election in 2019 had the worst election result for many, many decades, for uh, two generations. Yeah. And they did so because they adopted this rather purist left-wing view uh, that was, was well expressed by people like Owen Jones and, of course, Jeremy Corbyn. Uh, now, uh, Corbyn is still in Parliament. He is, has been readmitted to the Labour Party, though he has not yet got back the parliamentary whip. He is still the, part, the MP for Islington. And I note that the Labour Party has not selected his replacement yet. Mm. So uh, we're all expecting that actually the left wing of the Labour Party will be appeased by allowing Corbyn uh, and by proxy Owen Jones uh, to be spokespeople for their party in future. The problem that Keir Starman faces is that will make them unelectable again. They will have snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. And it's not beyond the Labour Party to be uh, actually so ill-disciplined as to be like that. Starmer very much wants to be prime minister. 
He's not a good campaigner. Uh, the results yesterday were not brilliant for Labour. Uh, they may look so on paper, but actually with a 35 percent turnout and hardly any move in their own vote, it wasn't anything to shout about uh, in reality, Mark. Uh, and I think Star uh, Starmer knows that. He's, he's not a stupid man. Mm. Uh, and, and I don't think he's a bad man. He's a big improvement on Corbyn, which is about all you can say for him. Of course, Keir Starmer would argue that his success yesterday demonstrates that Britain wants a Labour government. Um, last but not least, Edwina, the Tories lost votes to Reform UK and my friend Richard Tice. Are the right cancelling themselves? Um, well, that's a very good question. And um, I, I'm surprised you call him your friend, because actually what we really need Lovely is a guy. Tory government. We need a Tory government, and the Tory government is uh, put in some jeopardy when some people drift off to the right, give themselves fancy names, uh, get themselves a lot on GB News. I mean, who on earth would dream of doing that? <laughs> and um, in the end, they, they persuade people, they persuade some voters and some activists that purism is better than actually the broad brush politics that get people elected into government in this country. We have a first-past-the-post system. I know Richard Tice is very much against that, but we've had a referendum on it. We're not going to have another one. We have a first-past-the-post system. We've had it for a 1,000 years, and the outcome of that is if you want to get elected into government, you have to work with some people with whom you don't entirely agree, with whom you are not entirely friends, uh, but who have more or less the same values and principles and objectives at heart. And that certainly can't be said for the Reform Party and the Labour Party, at least not in this country. So I would say to all those who are thinking of drifting off like that, get real. There's a general election coming, there's a new government coming, and it ought to be one that's led by us.